Like I usually am excited to do videos because I love doing videos, but today I'm extra excited. So in the summer I did a mixing all my slimes video and it was so fun. It felt so nice to like get all my containers back and like it just felt nice to have my slime closet be completely like cleaned out and get to start my new collection. So today I have a lot of slimes because summer was a long time ago and now it's winter. So I have a lot of more slimes and I need to mix them because I can't handle having this many slimes, especially a lot of them are really good, but I don't play with them anymore because like, I just have too many. I have like my little group of slimes that I like, and then the rest I just keep in the closet. I made a lot of these slimes in fall, so there's so many oranges, but there's also a few pinks, and a bunch of blue, there's just a bunch of colors. Stop the video right now, and comment down below what color you think it's going to be. A lot of y'all got it right on the last one, you said it was going to be like a peachy orangey color, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to make like a muddy orangey brownish kind of color, but that's okay. I think it's going to be still really fun. So let's get straight on with the video. Okay, let's start. So these slimes over here are like about to fall. So I'm just going to start with these slimes so that they don't fall. So this one got sent to me and it like got really small. So the beads always fall out and it really hurts after you play with it for too long. So it's not my favorite slime. So that's why I'm mixing it today. Oh, I don't know if I already said this. I'm actually keeping like 10 of the slimes that are just like so good and that are like green and orange so that they won't make brown. Okay, and then this is a hard <laughs> crunchy slime. It's like a, oh, I remember making this. This is like a cornstarch slime, but I guess the beads all dried out. So then there's this white slime. It's like a, just a plain slime that's not crunchy at all. Okay, then this slime right here, this is an artificially snow slime. Like, it's like a, cornstarch, weird crunch slime. This one's actually really good, but the cold weather made it really stiff. Okay, then we've got this yellow slime. I actually really love this slime. And then I have this slime that I based off of like a blueberry parfait. Okay, then this slime, which is a really nice cornstarchy, buttery slime, but it got really hard because of the cold weather, so it's like not stretchy anymore. And then I have this slime. This slime is peppermint scented and it's just like a jiggly slime with a few beads in them. This slime is like a micro beaded white clear slime but it's like my first clear crunchy slime I ever made and it's like really bad. This is another one of that blueberry parfait slime I was talking about. Then I have like a fruity pebbles like cereal milk slime. So this one isn't scented but it's like a glossy kind of sticky now because it's so old um, with a few beads. Ooh, okay, I can like barely reach over. So I got two pinks. So this one is like a fluffy, it's so funny that I know what each slime is. Like by the color, I know what the texture it is. This one is like a really deflated fluffy slime. So it's like a glossy jiggly slime. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really nice. So beautiful. Ooh, it's sticky. So next we have this blue cloud slime that is like, I'm just not good at making cloud slimes. They like rip and they're never cloudy enough. But this one is pretty good actually. And it's scented, I think like, Peppermint. It's peppermint, but I put shaving cream in it. Then we have this slime. It was a, my very first butter slime I ever made, but then I decided to add, to add beads, and it was like my worst nightmare. The beads fall out, and it's so unstretchy now. It's so bad. <laughs> that was a lot louder than I expected. And then we've got this slime. It's just like a big beaded slime. Then I have this slime. It is just a weird clear slime that's not clear, but it's scented, so it's gonna make the slime smell good. Then we've got this slime. I feel like this is gonna turn like purple, but then I'm like, oh no, there's like yellow and stuff in it. I don't know. This is an artificial snow slime. It's really good, it's just really sticky. Um, I can't remember. Ooh, gross. Ugh, I hate this. What the heck? I think this is like a jiggly slime with like beads in it. This one. Ooh, oh, this is my first cloud cream I ever made. It's a really wet when you first touch it, but it's actually really good. My friends love this slime. Sorry, friends. <sighs> That's nice. Sorry guys, I'm keeping this. I really like it. <laughs> I failed the challenge! I just 
got a whole stack and it like fell and we weren't filming. It was the saddest thing. But these ones are all like blue. So right now I have like beautiful pink and I'm gonna add blue. So I don't know. Okay, I don't remember making this slime. Oh yes, I do. This is like a glossy, fluffy slime. This one is not good. So I made like a Model Magic Butter Fluffy Slime. And it's like so bad. Oof. This one, all the beads always fall out. Okay, then this one. Oh, this is Karina Garcia's um, slime kit. It's not very good, it's not very stretchy, but it's her slime kit mixed with one of my slimes. Now I'm gonna do some of these containers. They're all ones that I've made at my friend's house and she let me take home the containers. Like, actually, I've never bought these before. So, this is credits to Bria for letting me use her containers. I made based off a mint chip, but then I accidentally got some pink dye or like marker in it, and it got really sticky and it turned pink, so it just wasn't good. These containers are also really good. I still have these containers, which are really, really big, so I have a lot of these. I love it, it's so pretty. Ah, oh, I love the slime. It's like just a nice cornstarch, fluffy slime. Then we've got this one, it's a glittery clear slime. That's like really, really clicky. Then this yellow one, it was my first Daiso clay and I've had it for so long and now it's like really hard. So it was really good, but then it got super hard. So this one is a recreation of cereal milk slime. Um, so it's like a jiggly cornstarch, like a thick clicky slime and it's just plain white. And then I have Hope Marie Nixon snow slime. Then we have this one. Ooh, the container got really smashed up but it's just a jiggly slime that has some bees in it that has an amazing scent. I guess that's the last one so I can start mixing now. I just don't want to because it looks so good. I can't believe I'm mixing this. All my babies. Wow, it's gonna be so pretty. Ooh, I feel some over Borax slimes over here, you guys. I already see some brownness coming. Uh, and I can feel all of the individual slimes. It's just so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's like an ombre marble slime, but it's so hard to mix. Oh my gosh, it's turning purple. Oh, yes, that's exciting. This is literally like a galaxy. Do you see that? Oh, so pretty. It's slowly getting less hard. Like it feels like butter slime. Listen, it's getting buttery, but I'm just gonna add a little water just to kind of soften it up. This is a really pretty sign though. It reminds me of the color palette of my fall room. Cause for fall I did like a plum and like a corally-ish color. <laughs> The color is unbelievable. Like my my last mixing on my science video was like orange, and this one is super stretchy and purple, and it's like such a nice color. I was not expecting it to be purple. I didn't realize I had that many blues to make this beautiful, gorgeous color. But before you guys go, I really want to tell you that I am having a meet and greet in Texas on in the woodlands. So I will probably put some sort of card right here that tells you all the information, but it is gonna be 100% free. I'm going to be giving the first 20 people that are there a slime, like a free slime from me. I'm going to make the slime and I'm gonna put it in a container. It will be at the Woodlands Waterway. There's probably an address up here, I'm not for sure yet. But yeah, it's gonna be so fun. You can meet me and the rest of my family. It's gonna be on January 28th, and it's gonna be so fun. It's two days after my birthday, so it's kinda like my birthday present. And I will see you guys 